so we just like uh, multiplied uh, square root of f on the right hand side and then we shifted this right hand side to the left hand side so it would become because this is minus sign so it would become 1 plus uh, 2 times square root of f times log of whatever is there equal to 0 right so that would become the left hand side of this equation so that's what is written here if you look at it that is what is written here in this cell for the equation right so this is the one that I am highlighting so equation is uh, equal to 1 plus 2 into square root of uh, g19 and what is g19 that is the value of f and in the beginning we assume a value of f yeah so let me just change it okay I will just change it to for example 0 0.1 yeah that would be probably some of the higher values of f uh, according to the Moody's chart so once it is there uh, like the equation is there so equation is just saying that 1 plus 2 times 2 times square root of f the f is here into log 10 log to the base 10 of in bracket d8 and what is d8 that is epsilon over d or e over d relative roughness divided by 3.7 so, so this equation we are just going to write down plus 2.51 divided by Reynolds number and then again Reynolds number is from D16 and D16 as we can see is here. So D16 and uh, multiplied by again square root of F and all of this thing is in the denominator. So that's what we have done here by putting the brackets there. Uh, so this is the equation now uh, as I said uh, in order to uh, use the goal seek function we just go to the data we find out what if analysis in the what if analysis we shall see goal seek function and goal seek function says that set cell this cell we want to make it to zero because this is the left hand side of the equation where the right hand side is zero it's supposed to be zero so we want to make this equation to uh, a value of 0 and by changing uh, what should we change the friction factor because friction factor is actually controlling the value all the other values are constant only this value is kind of unknown to us so by changing this value and we just click this so by changing g919 we have to make this equation equal to 0 and we just say ok right so as we say ok it will start doing the iterations and you will see that the equation results in a value which is practically 0 yeah, point triple zero 0.004 which is practically 0 and we get the value of f as 0 0.01388 so you can say 0 0.139 something like that yeah so if you round it off so in this manner you can utilize the this goal seek function in order to solve uh, not only this uh, implicit equation by trials but any implicit equation which you can you come across in any of the engineering fields you can use it uh, you can use this uh, useful function uh, goal seek Please let me know if there is any questions or any confusion at this moment.